So what I'm gonna do is just use a Sharpie just to put a couple of uh, marks on where the, uh, the hub lines up. Um, that'll just help me line it back up in the same place later. Okay, so this is where we're gonna get oil everywhere. Just gonna let that drain a little bit. And clearly, not too much oil in there either. I'll just let that drain down. You can probably see on there the uh, oil line. It shows you where it was filled to. There you can see uh, the inside of the hub. And uh, the items we need to remove. It all looks okay condition so far. So um, what I'll do is I'll um, wait for that to drain down a little bit more, uh, get a little bit tidied up and um, we'll carry on. Uh, we're now we're going to start um, stripping uh, down the, uh, the inside of the hub here. So first thing you need to do is take this nut off. Uh, I've got a one inch and five sixteenths um, spanner here, which we're going to use to loosen that off. Okay, uh, I've got a tub back here for all the bits to keep them together. And uh, what I need to do is cut this uh, locking wire off. Um, when we reassemble this, um, I either need some more locking wire or um, replace these with a more modern equivalent, um, like a nylon nut, um, some people do. So uh, we'll have this uh, locking wire off here. Okay. Can't find my side cutters. Hopefully that'll be easy to do. Oh, well, this looks like it's in not great condition anyway. Let's see if we can pull this out. that's that all removed so now I need to undo these bolts on the um, star here
Hopefully, these same bolts we wound back in these holes here to draw this bearing off. So two of the bolts which have come out here can be used to draw that bearing off. Um, this washer here is a keyed washer that seems to be slightly damaged but it seems to be just biting on the side of this thread so I'm going to back these off and slip round okay so yeah there's a washer there you can see it's keyed the flat part along the top here um, you can get a better decent view of that yeah so you can see the key on there um, so we want to uh, make sure we take that off before we try and draw this bearing off didn't notice that this one looks a bit damaged mm, I have to investigate I need to replace that let's see Trying to tighten down on these, draw this bearing off. Okay, so got there with that, and uh, that's the star bearing removed. So it's got a flat face on the back there, and uh, you can see the bearing in the front with the clip. Okay, so we're starting to get down a bit further into the hub here. So we see the sun wheel here in the middle. So now we're going to take off these uh, nuts here and take off this retaining ring, um, which retains the planet gears underneath. Okay, so these are 9 sixteenths. Okay, so we need to 
draw this uh, parrot ring off and, and again with a couple more of the uh, bolts from the sun ring. Okay, so same thing, we just need to gently draw this off, slowly tightening each one. So, drawn that off, and be careful, there are these little rings here, which hold in all these needle bearings, don't want to lose those. So just make sure that's all kept together. So that's the underside of that plate. What we need to do now is remove the covers and these needle bearings and each of these planet gears and the sun wheel. So um, what I've got is some freezer bags and uh, it's a good idea to just keep all these bits together, pop them in a freezer bag so you uh, don't lose them. What I'm also going to do is, I've still got my ice cream tub I've used here um, with the hub oil in it. I'm just going to move that out of the way because I don't want to drop anything in there and have to be fishing around for it. The uh, hub's pretty much stopped draining oil out now. It's just a few final drips. Okay. So I've done is found one of the uh, planet wheels that's loose and I'll start with that one and uh, hopefully work way round until I find um, you know, others that are loose. So carefully draw that off and you can see that the uh, needle bearings have dropped down here. And uh, you can see the ring has stayed on. So try not to forget anything that gets left behind. Okay, so it's important to do these one at a time because you need to make sure that you're definitely getting all of the needle bearings 
and all the parts together in a bag. Um, you don't want to be losing any bits and uh, you certainly don't want to be having any bits drop into other cogs and get jammed up. So what I'd recommend is once you get all of these out is to um, go through each bag and just make sure you've got the right number of needle bearings in for each, uh, each gear set. So you can see now I've taken the uh, sun gear off, gives me access to each of the planet gears to draw them out. Okay, so really try not to uh, drop these needle bearings. You see there's loads. Okay, so that should be all of those uh, needle bearings removed. And what I'll do is I'll have a count up in the, where I've bagged them up and just make sure I've got the right number in each bag. And uh, the next most important thing is just to check in here, and really make sure that there are no bearings left floating around in the gears here because um, any chance of gears getting stuck in there binding up will be um, really not good when we come to uh, put it all back together okay okay so the next step is to remove the brake drum here, so just 
just need to undo the retaining screws. Remove the brake drum. Okay, so I've removed this and in the back is a thin shim. Be very careful not to break or damage that. Uh, needs to be inspected, make sure it's in good condition and uh, replaced if necessary. Uh, there's actually several shims on the back, so care needs to be taken with those. So again, I'm just bagging all these bits together to protect them, keep dust and dirt off them. Happy days, so that's been removed now. And we can see in there the bearing, uh, the bearing here, and uh, you can see as I rotate that the bearing moving. So now this whole unit here which is uh, the hub on the bearing is pushing off of the uh, the shaft in the middle here. And uh, luckily on here, the dowels all, all look pretty good, um, all in pretty good condition. I'll inspect those a bit more closely, um, but they all look good and straight. Um, so yeah, no, no unwarranted play here, which is good. Okay, let's uh, take this off. Oops. <laughs> I managed to launch one of the bearings onto the floor, which I didn't want to do. Hopefully, we can get this last one off. Made it. 
So I've managed to get the hub off and uh, some of the bearings. So I'll uh, just flip the camera over and show you those bits now. Okay, so you can see now that we've removed the hub and uh, we can get a good inspection on the dowels. They all look good. I will check those in a bit more detail, make sure they're secure and not loose, um, not cracked or broken or anything like that. But they all look in pretty good order. And uh, we can see down in here from the bearings. I've sat that on the oil pan because it's still draining a bit of oil. Here's the other bearing. I managed to launch out by accident. Um, make sure that's cleaned up and well oiled and refitted nicely. Okay, yeah, so there's the hub. And uh, what we need to do is um, give that a good inspection and a bit of a clean up. And we'll be ready for the next steps so hopefully you'll join me for that and uh, we'll dig a bit deeper into uh, the ferret suspension and uh, hopefully get to the point where we can start replacing some of the um, seals which is really why we're doing all this okay good thanks for joining us uh, please don't forget to like and um, subscribe